Okay, Scoob Bat Dan here. Everybody wants to know how I'm rolling my stainless steel wick, so I'll give a quick run through of how I do it. Uh, obviously, I'm taking a stainless steel, it doesn't have to be stainless steel, but a ruler and fold over the edge of the proposed wick and kind of crimp it. That helps to uh, minimize the amount of stainless steel edge protrusion so it's not uh, touching the wick or I mean I'm sorry the coil so you fold that take a straight piece of I used a, a, a regular paper clip to do mine but we start on this side The sucker rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them doggies rolling. Roll high. Okay, sorry. And just start rolling, 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 rolling. And once you get nice and tight on the paper clip, and you take the paper clip out and you continue to roll nice and tight mm -hmm. and I've got that pretty tight if you can see. Okay, so then I go about to the center and I just start rolling like this. And bending as I'm rolling. And stretch and bend and roll. And then I get to a point where I've got it to where it starts to bend. So then I just kind of pull. And no kinks. Just like that. Got a nice rounded top, and there's no kinks at all. And that's how I roll them. That's how I roll. <laughs> so, anyway, now that it's got a pre bend in it, you can just bend it right back to that point. Now, what I usually do is hold it just like this, and then I'll heat right here, right at the tip. And then once it's heated red hot, because your fingers are far enough away, they're not going to burn. So you just you're all you're doing is heating this apex up here. And then once that's heated, it hardens. And then when you let it go, it's going to stay in this shape right here, just like that. So that's how I roll. No kinks. Good to go. Oh, that's Scoob Bet Dan, and I'm out.